Shut up and sit down. Real short video today. I want to share a quick tip to adjust the boat if it's idling a little fast. Um, check your owner's manual uh, for your uh, desired uh, idle speed. Uh, you can also use your computer reader to see what the computer wants the idle speed to be. So there's really three things to check. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do in today's video is super ridiculously crazy easy and fix my boat right away. <laughs> so I'm going to recommend you do the exact same thing. So phase one, turn your boat on and see where it's idling. If it's idling higher than it's supposed to be, typically that means it's getting more air. Uh, the way the boats kind of work, the computer senses how much air is coming in and it uses that to adjust the gas going in because it wants the air and gas mixture to be the proper so the, there's no damage to the engine. Uh, you have a, an idle air controller unit that opens and closes slightly to allow more air to come in if the computer sees that the desired RPM is getting too low. So if your RPM is too low, the idle air controller may not be open properly. If it's kind of high, the idle air controller might be stuck open. Very easy to replace. But the easiest thing to check is the throttle connection. So let me show you where that sits. So this is my Penta 5.0 GXI. My shadow's in the way. All right, let me show you exactly the easiest thing to check the first thing. See that bright, shiny, silvery thing right there? That is the throttle control, where it connects back to the, the helm. All you want to do is make sure it's adjusted properly, is have the boat turned off, have this all the way up, pull the pin, whoop, comes up by your hand, pull the pin out, and then pull this guy out. If this moves at all after you pull it out, it wasn't adjusted properly, I'll give you an example. So I'll tighten it down by turning it to the right a few times. You can see it's too tight, I gotta move the throttle now the throttle is slightly open, so if I pull this off and it moves, that was too tight. So you want to loosen it, one, does it fit on easily, two, does it fit on easily, three, you don't want it fourth, so I just want it to just kind of set on. Just keep turning it left until it just kind of slides on. That's it. And then you put your pin back in. This is a hand pull pin, it's a very low pressure pin. Just going to put both sides back in. Feel free to reuse the pin. Again, low pressure, and bend those back out, ba -doop, ba -doop, and that's it. And I'll start the boat back up and we'll see a good idle. As always, I always say, when you start your engine, turn your fan on, get any exhaust out of there. You never know. It's, there's no harm to do it. Don't, don't run the entire time you're running the boat. You don't want to get that get overheat or anything. But when you start your engine, always have that on and then Look at that, right at 750, right where it's supposed to be. That's a beautiful, I, I was idling around 1,000, 1,100, all because that thing was misadjusted. That's the first thing you always check. Go there, check them. Second thing you check is that idle air sensor. It's all, uh, we can do another video on that when I need to replace one. I don't need to do it, I'm not gonna do a video. Uh, after that, I would check that the actual throttle body itself uh, does, Lubricated properly, it's moving freely, not, not stuck. Uh, check your flame arrestor, which is the boat term for air filter. But that's a beautiful idle. Why do you want the proper idle? Most important reason is going to be wear and tear in your engine, less RPMs. Second reason, almost as important, when you put it in gear, the little push pushes the pieces together and it's the, the propeller starts spinning. If your engine's going too fast, you can ding around in there. You get that boom when you try to shift your engine into gear. This gives you a nice smooth shift into gear and really protects the life of your engine. So always make sure you have the proper idle on your motor. And as always, like and subscribe for more videos.